Well, good morning. Welcome to TGS Live. Um, I'm not sure we're live on LinkedIn, but uh, you'll be able to see this video on LinkedIn as soon as we get it set up. So uh, TGS Live, this is your opportunity to come and say hi, have a cup of tea with us, um, ask some questions or listen to your questions answered from when you post them the week before. Um, the most important news today is we have a cup of tea, which is always great. And that you'll see it's the TGS Americas regional event today and tomorrow from 4 p.m. to 6.30 p.m. Central European time. So you've got to adjust for your time zone for wherever you are. So some quick news about uh, the week in TGS. It's been really busy and we uh, participated in the Digital Transformation Forum on the net, which was two days of uh, conferences all about digital transformation of um, accountancy firms and professional practice or finance firms. It was super, super interesting. There was lots of information about how accountancy firms are executing digital transformation strategies post COVID. Obviously working from home has been uh, pretty much mastered, uh, but there's a lot more issues and we're finding out as well that it's really now that uh, digital transformation is taking place. If you look back to 2015 and see what kind of apps and digital technologies were available, we thought we were pretty forward looking and there was a lot of stuff, but it was quite pioneering at the time. But now it's becoming very mainstream. There's a lot of choice. There's lots of mistakes to make, but there are lots of advantages to make also. Um, lots of questions also about outsourcing. How do you manage that for your big clients? Um, another interesting point which came up was hybrid meetings. Now this is a meeting when some of you are in the office and some of you are in remote sites. And the debate, as with many debates, was quite um, split between those that think, uh, well, it's okay, you can have some people at home and some people in the office, but some people saying also that, well, if you have some people virtually, then everybody should be virtually. So you should be sitting in your own office. Um, so that depends how you work it. I'd love to hear your thoughts about it. Uh, and that's something we'll be talking about in the Innovation and Technology Committee on the 7th of June. Uh, I kind of think maybe that if one person is virtual, everybody's virtual. So you've got a concentration on uh, the screen, which is equal in proportion. And now we're quite used to developing relationships virtually and it works. Um, lots of other things as well. One small thing about uh, hybrid meetings that there was a poll recently which discovered that th it, on average, it takes 13 minutes to start a Zoom meeting when there's someone offsite. So if you just have one Zoom meeting a day, that means in a year you're wasting or losing 43 hours of work just by the, oh, switch on, how about this, get this sorted out things. So are you ready for having a Zoom meeting instantly? You know, when you walk into a meeting room, does the does does the uh, uh, does the meeting begin? There were some other two very interesting things which came up because there was a lot of client facing things like how do you uh, help your clients automate their processes? And that, Matthias, we're going to have you on TGS Live, uh, probably recorded or for a longer episode about this. But there was some new acronyms. I'm a, I love acronyms. I'm sure you do too to bear in mind when you're thinking about digitalization of firms and how to talk about it with your clients. And an important one was uh, pants, always important. But this means people are not the same. So when you're talking to people uh, or trying to sell your services or convince a client, you have to listen to what they're saying. Really people see something different uh, all the time. So people are not the same. So your pitches and your ways of talking, they need to be modified to the people you're speaking with. Wombat was another uh, great acronym which came up. So a wombat, apart from being a, a very little animal, if you're listening in Australia, I think that's where they are, wombats. I don't know, exposing my ignorance. Uh, but it's things that you can help your clients with uh, or, or your own processes, something we'll be working on before the summer. Um, waste of money, uh, waste of time, waste of B and waste of A. Now, the fact that I can't remember what the B and A is means that they're the, probably the things that I'm wasting the most. Waste money. No, we don't do that. Waste of. So B and A, if you know what the B and A is, and a waste of, waste of something, waste of B, waste of 
energy, waste of uh, times. I don't know. So answers in the box. That's it's live. So if you can help us answer that question, it's great. But it's when you're thinking about your processes, which element of your process is a waste and how can you get rid of that waste to improve uh, your business or improve your client's business? And often it's a simple diagnostic. We're wasting things all the time. You get stuck in a rut of your actions and these are quick wins. This is the low hanging fruit. And if you can remember what B and A stand for, your streets ahead uh, in the game as well. Spuff was another thing to think about when you're talking about digital transformation. And we experience this and it's very easy to trap it, uh, trap to fall into. So it's a call, Spuff is for a single point of failure. So for example, I take this example, like say uh, somebody works out how to go live on LinkedIn. Okay, that's great. But if there's only one person who knows how to do that, if that person is not around, it won't happen again. So this is a very common thing when you accept new technologies or a new app, you kind of delegate it or not even delegate, but leave it to one person who's in charge of it. But then if they're not there, the thing collapses, single point of failure, very common in digital transformation, something you can avoid and something you can help your clients avoid and something we will talk about in the Innovation and Technology Committee on the 7th of June. And you can sign up. I'll put a link in the box when I, when I post this video. Uh, also, there's a legal committee coming up, Innovation and Technology, in tech, the Audit Committee and the Tax Committees. Uh, you'll find links below or links beside. I can't remember which side they come out on LinkedIn, but you'll be able to sign up for those committees for the TGS. Uh, and another thing which was super interesting, uh, which uh, Justine and I did, was this quiz, Terms and Conditions Apply. So this is a little game uh, to show you uh, the dangers of the information that you're giving on the internet. Is it clear in your mind what information you're sharing or potentially sharing when you access the internet, when you accept a new app, when you sign on for something? I mean, we've all joked for years about the huge terms and conditions on uh, Apple products or any other products. Uh, when you scroll through, you scroll through, there are hundreds of pages and you click yes, accept because you're tired out by not even reading it. So you accept things, but what are you accepting? This is getting more and more serious, I think, uh, and we'll have uh, Caroline uh, on the show about this. Caroline, I'd be interested to see how well you fared in this game. I think there's maybe uh, 15 little quiz captions and they're the kind of online trickery that uh, evil companies use to collect your data. How good are you at not letting other companies collect your data? I mean, there's so much about data uh, to go on. So terms and conditions apply. I'll put a link to the game in this box as well. Um, a reminder, obviously, and you'll see these slides every week until October, TGS walks around the world. TGS walks around the world. Uh, this is a slide of the walk we did last weekend on the beach. Um, he just walks around the world. We're in association with the World Wildlife Foundation in the UK. We're raising money for them, uh, which is a kind of um, almost an excuse just to do something together. So the challenge is we're all sharing our kilometers on this uh, app, on the Race Nation app. Thanks to Will Golder for that. Uh, and we hope to walk a combined 40,000 kilometers by October, which is a challenge. It's a lot of kilometers, but if there are many of us doing it, it's the online metaphor again about how we can achieve great things if we all do a little bit of it together. So good for your team, uh, good for you, uh, maybe good for business uh, as well. But also there's an opportunity for you to share your pictures. So remember to use the hashtags. Um, TGS made me do something. Hashtag think global sustainability. Hashtag uh, one world for the World Wildlife Foundation. Again, I'll put those hashtags in the box here so you don't have to write them out because they're very long. When you use them once, then your computer will remember and you'll be able to use them again. Aha, technology. So uh, also um, a little reminder that this TGS Live is every Thursday, uh, almost most every Thursday is 9 a.m. Central European summer time. Uh, time. Uh, so adjust your clocks, make sure you turn up and also make sure you sign up for the committees. Sign up to the Americas Conference if you haven't already. So we see you later on today or earlier today if you're in the Americas. And remember to go to our social media, sign up, 
and click the notifications bell on YouTube so that you'll see when we go live. Make sure you follow the LinkedIn page so you can see the new updates about what's happening in TGS. Also check out our web website regularly so that you see the Digested Week, which tells you everything which happens. Also the news of new members, news about the members, news about what we're doing. So uh, thank you very much. If you can remember what B and A is from the Wombat, it's a waste of money, a waste of something, a waste of something, and a waste of time. So to just live 10 or 15 minutes every Thursday, it's not a waste of time because we are responding to your questions and helping you learn more about TGS and just keeping in touch. So Arena, if you're watching us, thank you very much for being so consistent and we'll see you next time.